Welcome to Stony Brook Finance Lab channel. The title of this presentation is Fear and Greed, How FOMO Leads to No More Money. It was created by me, Ryan Grande, and my partner, Ji Hong Zhu. We attempt to address the cognitive shortcut FOMO. This presentation is going to talk about how psychological episodes of FOMO, which is short for fear of missing out, can have devastating and long-term effects on the portfolio of any investor. We aim to address the four bullet points listed in this slide. What is FOMO? How does this innate cognition manifest itself in our investment portfolios and lead us astray? What are some specific examples of FOMO causing severe consequences for investors? And finally, what strategies can be used to avoid making investment decisions that are driven by FOMO? Ever since COVID-19, there has been a sharp increase in the amount of noise traders, also referred to as retail traders or day traders, that upgrade and downgrade stocks from the social media platforms on a consistent basis for valid reasons, invalid reasons, and sometimes no reason at all. These themes have become especially popular because of the bear markets that have occurred since the beginning of 2020. Subreddits such as Wall Street Bets and social media platforms like TikTok have given even the most novice and uneducated day traders a platform to express their investing opinions. A recent study conducted by Forbes showed that nearly 81% of people get their financial news from a social media platform. Severe market volatility and erratic stock price movements seen in individual stocks and many cryptocurrencies over the past four years have changed the way investors think about their portfolio, including their level of patience and their risk tolerance. The examples of average day traders making speculations that have turned their investments into small fortunes are endless and have paved the way for others to take similar risks, so they too will not miss the boat. However, the tales of many investors whose calculations were inaccurate and unnecessary risks caused them to lose more than they could barely get mentioned. The goal of this presentation is not to dissuade investors from taking risks or ever taking chances with unconventional securities, but rather to explain how emotional and impulsive decision-making is not rational or sustainable. Ultimately, we hope that average investors come away with strategies that can be used to identify the investments out there that really are too good to be true. We have all felt FOMO at one point or another in our social lives, that anxious, jealous feeling that we missed out on something really special. Whether it be a party, concert, sporting event, or any other exciting occasion, FOMO has become a consistent occurrence primarily because of the emergence of social media platforms. As it turns out, social media does not only impact the FOMO we experience in our social lives, but it can also disrupt our investment decisions. FOMO in trading can be defined as a psychological phenomenon where a person allows their fear of missing out on what they perceive to be a lucrative investment opportunity to drive their decision-making and feed their greed. The spontaneous onset of FOMO can be attributed to how quickly we can receive news about market trends, individual stocks, cryptocurrencies, and any other financial products in today's world. The accessibility of this vast amount of information leads to impulsivity and the immutable perception that if we do not follow the latest trend, then we will miss out on enormous rewards. The problem with this line of thinking is that most of these uncalculated decisions are made because of social media headlines and opinions made in subreddits. So credibility is always seriously in doubt. In addition, we fail to acknowledge those who have taken these risks and incurred huge losses. This is also known as confirmation bias. Confirmation bias is the human tendency to favor only confirming evidence and disregard disconfirming evidence to one's prior beliefs. This has been used frequently by investors to justify their behavior driven by FOMO because they only focus on the success stories, not on those who have tried and failed. Additionally, when investors make investment choices purely based on FOMO, they tend to deviate from their carefully constructed investment plan, a plan that was devised by the cool cognition of our system two thinking and used sound financial reasoning. Today, over 4 billion people are on social media, which means that there are millions and millions of investing opinions swirling around on a daily basis. This is both good and bad. 
It is good because the latest financial news is at the tip of our fingers at any point during the day. And it is bad because many inexperienced investors base their decisions solely on the latest trends circulating on Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok without any verification. The first example of FOMO seen in the financial markets is the dot-com bubble, which occurred in the late 1990s and spilled over into the early 2000s. It was a period of intense speculation and exuberance in the stock market, particularly within the technology and internet sectors. The rapid growth of the internet fueled a surge in the valuations of companies related to technology and the online space. The increase in IPOs for internet-based businesses led to a mad frenzy of investors buying stock in these companies. However, many of these startups did not yet offer substantial earnings or present any evidence of long-term growth, yet they still experienced skyrocketing stock prices because of the FOMO that surrounded these new age businesses. Ultimately, the price of many of these tech sector stocks became overvalued, leading to sharp declines in price bankruptcies, and significant losses incurred by investors. The second example of FOMO in investing can be viewed through cryptocurrencies, meme stocks, and special purpose acquisitions or SPACs, which have been the latest trends over the past few years. There are endless examples of these kinds of assets turning out to be either big winners or massive flops. These trends reflect the ever-evolving nature of investment opportunities, but they also come with a considerable degree of volatility and risk. Cryptocurrency contains many regulatory uncertainties and security concerns, with the speculative nature of the market contributing to its unpredictability. Take SafeMoon, for instance, a cryptocurrency launched in 2021 that had hopes of quickly rising in price and even initiated a transaction fee to discourage short-term selling and promote long-term growth. The hysteria surrounding cryptocurrencies caused SafeMoon's market value to rise to around $5.7 billion. Today, the founders are now facing SEC charges for perpetuating what they call a massive fraudulent scheme, resulting in the loss of billions of dollars. Another example includes a SPAC created in the summer of 2022 called Phase Clan. FaZe used big name celebrities to dial up its public offering via SPAC and accrue its $1 billion valuation. However, the once up and coming esports branded gaming analytics company is expected to be acquired soon by GameSquare for only $16 million. And its share price has gone from being traded at around $20 to now barely 20 cents. That is not to say that there are not instances where investors have hit home runs with these kinds of assets. But in this age, the presence of these black swan events and the ever-changing landscape of investing has caused many investors to exhibit erratic behavior tied to FOMO. Although it may be enticing to follow investments that are hot at the moment, creating a plan with a long-term purpose has been proven time and time again to be the best strategy. It is also important to remember that investors tend to make these impulsive decisions during down times, like when there is a bear market. The best way to construct a portfolio that will give you the largest potential earnings is by increasing your own financial literacy and being disciplined enough to stick with your investments through ups and downs. An IPSOS poll generated on behalf of Money Masters, which is a financial education app, found that only 36% of Americans are financially literate. Observations have also shown that investing is around 85% personal behavior and only 15% actual finance. The point is the combination of adequate financial knowledge and responsible habits will give you the best chance at creating and maintaining a successful portfolio. It is important to not make investment decisions alone. You should consult experienced investors and financial experts. Even the most skilled traders and investors at the largest banks and hedge funds leverage their peers to seek advice and brainstorm methods to attack the financial markets. This means that novice investors with very little experience should be using every credible source available in order to gain even the slightest advantage in investing. Investors should also stay up to date on the financial markets by reading and watching credible news sources. 
This is one of the best ways to consistently stay up to date on the financial markets and gain more knowledge about investing. News outlets such as Bloomberg, The Wall Street Journal, Barron's, CNBC, and Yahoo Finance provide daily updates and expert opinions from many different financial professionals at many different investment firms. Observing and learning the tactics used by those with a proven track record will always make you a better investor. And finally, do not take chances with money that you are not able to lose and always set aside an emergency fund. This is one of the most important sentiments to consider when investing. As said in the beginning of this presentation, the goal is not to try and discourage you from ever taking risks, but it is important to not gamble with money you cannot afford to lose. This is why it is crucial to identify your risk tolerance level and always have money set aside for emergency precautions. Thank you for watching this video. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to this YouTube channel.